Okay, today I'm going to show you how to flash the newest uh, ice cream sandwich to your Samsung Captivate. This is from Team ISCS SGS. This is their release candidate 4. And I'm just going to take you through the steps uh, to be able to flash this to your phone. So let's get to it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is I've already flashed to the ice cream sandwich, so I'm going to flash back to gingerbread just as a starting point for people who haven't come to ice cream sandwich yet. So I just want to flash back to gingerbread so we can kind of have a common starting point here. Now, one thing is is the the dev of of this recommends that you be on the AT&T bootloaders. And so I'll have a link in the description of this video of how to load those AT&T gingerbread bootloaders onto your Captivate. Now, be careful about that. That can be dangerous for your phone, so please follow everything uh, in the thread uh, to the T on that. I've already got AT&T gingerbread bootloaders on here, so I'm going to flash back to this gingerbread uh, version, which is the KH3 version. And I'll have a link in the description to this ROM that I'm about to flash to my to my Captivate. The good thing about this ROM that I have is that it has a kernel packaged with it. And in that kernel, it has Clockwork Mod built into it. So for you to be able to flash uh, the ice cream sandwich, you have to have a Clockwork Mod on your phone. And the only way you can get Clockwork Mod on your phone is by flashing a kernel that has Clockwork Mod on it. And so that's the good thing about this uh, gingerbread uh, ROM that I'm about to put on here is it has all of that already packaged together. All I've got to do is flash this one time and I've got the Clockwork Mod just like I need it. Okay, so I've already got this Odin One Click already opened here on my computer. You can see it right there, it's that, that uh, open active window. So I've got that Odin one click and it's ready for me to put my phone into download mode. So it's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put the battery in. Now I'm going to push and hold the volume up and down button. Make sure you don't hit the power button. Make sure your thumb's not going to hit the power button. Just push and hold the volume up and down. Continue holding that, and as you're holding that, plug in your USB. And you can see it brings us into the download mode. Okay, now you have to make sure that your Odin One Click is already open and ready to go, or this won't work. So, as you can see there on that, maybe a little bit there, you can see that there's that little that little yellow that came up, and that shows that my phone is reading on a port now and it's ready to be able to flash this. So we've got this in download mode, and I'm going to get this started up here. Just push start on my computer, and that's going to start flashing. And I'm going to let this flash through. I'll probably fast forward through this, and then we'll pick up in a little while after this is flashed through, and I'm back on gingerbread. Okay, so we just got through, uh, got through with the Odin one click. It's flashed that gingerbread, and now we're going to boot back up into gingerbread, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so <clears throat> booted back up into gingerbread. I'm going to go ahead and put that on mass storage.
Okay, so I'm on gingerbread there. And like I said, I'm on this KH3 version with the boo kernel with clockwork mod built into it. All of that was through flashing that one Odin one click, and now I've got all that that I need to be able to uh, flash my ice cream sandwich. Okay, so over here on the devs website, on the, the, the uh, thread, uh, this ICS, SGS, just scroll down a little bit and it says download Captivate I897 and I896. So you're just going to click on that. And then you're just going to download this ISC 4.0.3 MR1 RC 4.2. So you're just going to click that download that. I've already downloaded that. So it's what I'm going to do now is... This is the internal of my uh, of my phone here, so I'm going to take I'm going to uh, get this file that we just downloaded. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on the root of my phone on the internal memory of my phone. Okay, so it's all over there. I should have I should have the file on the internal memory of my phone now. Okay, so I'm going to plug that. And just to make this quicker, I'm just going to pull battery right here. I'm going to put battery back in. Make sure I'm not pushing the power in. Okay, so I pulled the battery. Now, to, to boot back into clockwork, is what I need to do is I need to hold the volume up and down at the same time. And then push the bat, the power button and hold all three of those buttons for a little bit. Once that comes on, the AT&T let off of the power. Keep holding on the volume up and down. And then you can see there how it's booted up into clockwork for me now. Okay, now so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to scroll down to install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card and now I'm going to scroll through all these files I have and I'm going to go find that file that we just downloaded and put on here and there it is it's the ICS 4.03 MR1 RC 4.2 okay so I'm going to push power button on that which will select it then using my volume I'm going to scroll up to yes I'm going to push my power button to select that and it should start installing from here. Okay, so with for for the Clockwork mod that I have, I guess that's what it is, is an older version of Clockwork mod and it doesn't like whatever's trying to happen there to be able to flash that. So once I ran that the first time it started, it kept just basically just looping through and just kept trying to do the same thing and booting up, trying to run some kind of script and it just would turn back off and just go through that endlessly. But once it did that, it updated my Clockwork mod. So um, if you do that once and it keeps... It keeps looping on you. Just take the battery out and then boot back into clockwork mod. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to boot back in. I'm going to hold volume up and down. Push the, the power button. 
Let go of the power button, keep holding the volume up and down. Let go of the volume up and down. And then you can see there it's giving me a newer version of Clockwork. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down, install zip from SD, choose zip from SD, go find the file, the 4.0.3 RC 4.2, install it, yes, install it, and then we'll let it go through its deal here. Okay, got done with that, so I'm going to go back, reboot system now. And wait for the phone to boot. <clears throat> the dev says on his thread here that it may take up to 10 minutes to boot, so it's probably going to take a while here. Okay, so went through all that. I don't know. It probably took two to three minutes, maybe. This is not the first time I've had ice cream sandwich on here. Like I said before, I've had it on here for a while now, and I really do like ice cream sandwich on here. It really is is very nice. I really wish by default they would leave the display to not automatic brightness. Drives me crazy. Very nice, very smooth. So there you go. Hope you enjoy. I really do.